energetic, fantastic, unique. These are the fish that may look like they'll break your bank, but they won't because they are the top 10 cheapest pet fish in the hobby that you can keep. Let's kick off with our first fish. Swimming so energetic and prolific in number one is the guppy fish. Also known as the million fish, guppies are the cheapest of them all, often costing only a few dollars. Wondering why they're super cheap? Well, that's because taking care of them doesn't cost much and they're easy to breed. But if you really wanted to go for a fancier guppy, there are breeds out there that can be surprisingly pricey. However, for those who are looking for an active, hardy, and colorful fish for an affordable price, you'll never go wrong with guppies. Let's admire the golden radiance of this popular fish. The common goldfish earns a spot on our list. Who doesn't know about goldfish? They're a classic dude, and not just classic, they're also cheap and easy to care for. Dancing with their outlandish fins and creative splash of colors, they are available in the hobby for a really low price, especially the commons, comets, and fantails. Goldfish first thrived in ponds in ancient China, but they're also kept to flourish in home aquariums with good filtration and adequate size. Hence, they became a popular pet fish for hobbyists. These fish can grow to over six inches and are suitable for a community tank. The major pro of keeping these fish is aside from being economical, they really don't require a heater in most homes, so you can save on them electricity bills a little bit with them in your care. If you like goldfish and want to step up your budget, you can opt for a fancy goldfish. Want to know more about them? Check out our card at the top of the screen for another exciting video. Number three with its high energy is the Zebra Daniel. The preconceived notion of most people is having a cheap fish means having an ugly looking one, but that's not the case. Let's go ahead and put that stigma to a standstill because zebra danios are a pleasing and inexpensive fish that offer a great deal. They're active little fish with speedy, hardy, and graceful characteristics that are very beginner friendly, and they can live without a heater. With their parallel lines of black and white hues similar to zebras, they'll surely dance around in your aquarium. And here's an insider tip. For you to see them at their best, pick up a school of at least eight. Want to learn more about schooling fish? We've got a popular video all about them. Check out the card at the top. This fish doesn't cost much money. Here we have the molly fish. At a reasonable price, you can instantly grab a versatile live bearer. Mollies are known to be able to thrive even as saltwater fish along with other marine fish species, and they can even easily breed in the aquarium. If you're up for this breathtaking display, you will never go wrong with a molly fish. But some key points to note for taking molly fish in, they can reach four to five inches, so they'll need a larger aquarium of at least 30 gallons. For their diet, they'll eat a variety of food sources, but they enjoy munching on algae, which means they can help to keep your tank clean. An instant janitor that's happy to go to work in your tank. Mollies and guppies can also have friends, and those friends are called platies. While we are talking about cheap fish in the hobby, platy fish should not be overlooked. They're one of those low-cost, live-bearing fish out there, in the same family as guppies and molly fish. And they come in many varieties, including hues of yellow, blue, and a combination of other colors too. Given their size, you can keep them in a small tank with inexpensive equipment or implanted tanks. Their community tank suitability is high, so you can keep them along with some other of the fish on this list. That's right, it's our platy, the friendly diva. Thin so flowy and colored so brightly, these are the betta fish in an aquascape ballet. Aside from having the title of being the most beautiful variety of freshwater fish in the hobby, these types of fish are easy to care for and can be cheap. They are first to consider for fish keepers who want a single low maintenance fish that doesn't require a massive and expensive aquarium. But if you have more pennies in your bank, then go for a fancy variety, as these types can go from yellow to blue and honestly everything in between. You've got a lot of options, but aside from colors, they can also flaunt their various styles of fins, like a half moon shape, crown tail, and elephant ear. But for this kind of fish, females are a little smaller and less vibrant, but man, they still make great pets. You'll see bettas sold in cups and kept in bowls, this can be such a harsh environment for them to live in, and it's not good for their long-term health. So if you happen to pick a betta, set your pet up with a five gallon or larger aquarium with a heater and a filtration system for better survivability. Cause you know you wanna see the beauty of these wondrous fish in your tank for a long time. Shining neon lights, we have the Neon Tetra, a budget-friendly yet bright fish. 
Neons are an extremely popular freshwater schooling fish that give their owners energetic movements and blasts of color inside your aquarium. Not only are they great looking, but they're economical to keep being one of the cheaper fish in the hobby. More than that, these tiny fish are so friendly and they get along great with other peaceful freshwater fish. So you can keep them with other budget friendly schooling fish and witness an extravagant display of color inside your home. Fighting their way to the top, these are the sword tails. With tails pointy like swords, these fish won't deny your riches, as they're not just stunning, but pocket friendly fish. They're live bearers that originated from Central America and can thrive in a variety of water conditions. Their distinct feature is their tail, but only males develop long and pointed tails. However, females still have those same vibrant colors. Sword tails can coexist with affordable live bearers such as guppies and mollies, or they can be housed together in a social group. Known for their beginner-friendly nature, they're among the most straightforward fish for hobbyists, making them an excellent choice for those new to the hobby. While this is a bottom-feeding fish, they've reached the top for being budget-friendly. This is the Corydoras catfish. A fascinating fish that swims at the bottom and doesn't cost too much, Cory catfish are excellent schooling fish that scavenge the surface of your tank. They're super friendly and hang out in schools of their own species. These serene freshwater fish encompass a vast variety of breeds and species. However, opting for more affordable choices such as the albino and peppered Corydoras catfish is a reliable decision. If you're looking for other Cory catfish, check out the card above for our top 10 list of this species. And for our 10th spot, Speedy and the Aquas, they are the Scissor Tail Rasporas. Scissor Tail Rasporas are what you need to pick if you want your aquascape to turn into an exciting underwater world, as these fish are speedy and school together. They're also affordable, and they eat most things you can feed them in the tank. Just a little background on this one. Their name is derived from their striking, distinct fork tail fins and they're alternatively referred to as the three-striped rasbora due to the unique markings on their silver gold bodies. Given their adult size and energetic nature, these fish require a bit more space. So, if you want uniquely looking fins at a reasonable price, scissor tail rasboras should be on your list as they tick all the boxes. Wow! Those choices will certainly offer you a wide range of wonders at an affordable price. For those who like to know, what's the difference when we say expensive fish and cheap fish, aside from the price? Let's uncover the reasons behind their varying prices and care requirements. When we talk about expensive fish, usually they're often elusive and tricky to breed. Some are resourced from the wild, and processes involve additional expenses like transportation and associated costs. Taking care of these rare and pricey fish can also pose challenges, as they demand more care and maintenance from fish keepers. On the flip side, affordable fish are easier to breed and require less maintenance, making them more accessible to hobbyists. But why are the most common and well-known fish so popular? Well, they might not be the most challenging for seasoned aquarists, but they're fantastic as pets and stunning additions to aquariums, offering a delightful display for all to enjoy. Aside from narrowing down the choices for the cheapest fish, in this video, we also offer a freebie and that is helping you get started on a budget. I know for a fact that embarking on the fish keeping journey doesn't seem easy, but it also doesn't need to break the bank. While there's a plethora of tempting gadgets and tools out there, you can start with the essentials. A minimum setup is all it takes to dive into this rewarding hobby. So here are the musts that you need to kick off your aquatic adventures. Tank and equipment. First and foremost, you need an aquarium. Opt for a size that suits your needs and matches the type of fish that you plan to keep. Ensure your tank comes with a hood to prevent any Houdini acts by your aquatic fellas. Investing in aquarium lighting, a filter, and a heater is also crucial. While some fish like goldfish may not require a heater, most others will need one. Also, don't forget aquarium gravel and decorations to complete your setup. Testing and maintenance. Equip yourself with a water test kit for parameters like nitrates and pH. An algae scraper, gravel vacuum, and water conditioner are essential tools for maintaining water quality. The latter is particularly vital for treating tap water and ensuring that it's safe for your aquatic pals. Food and Medicine Budget-friendly fish food options do exist, and surprisingly, they last longer than you might expect. Most fish have simple diets, so tropical fish flakes or pellets should do the trick as staples. 
Also, be sure to grab some frozen blood worms or freeze-dried foods for supplementary feeding, as they're just as affordable and have a long shelf life if stored properly. Now, here's some extra tips for you. We suggest considering buying used equipment to cut costs, but exercise caution and thoroughly inspect items before making a purchase. Keep an eye out to snag the best deals and prioritize energy efficient hardware when selecting electronics. Here's the pro tip though, investing a bit more with quality long lasting products and ones that have a good warranty at that can save you money in the long run and it'll spare you frequent replacement and unforeseen expenses. If you want to know how to purchase a used tank, check out our video about cheap tanks that discusses how to successfully purchase one. It's another card at the top. Anyway, I know you might still have some questions lingering in your brain, so why don't we answer them right away? What is the easiest fish to take care of? Well, live bears like guppies, mollies, and platies are some of the easiest fish to maintain. These vibrant fish flourish in diverse water conditions and generally maintain robust health. They'll also readily eat any fish food you offer. What is the least expensive fish to buy as a pet? Mm, pricing will vary depending on where you buy your fish, but zebra daniels are often the cheapest fish in the store. These hardy fish make great pets for beginners, and they get along perfectly with many other freshwater fish species. Zebra daniels are a great value. Another are feeder fish, but generally we don't recommend them just because they can come with some diseases. It's up to you if you want to take that risk, which I get when you can purchase these fish for under a quarter a pop. How expensive are they? The prices of aquarium fish exhibit significant variations based on species, size, and breeds. Common varieties such as the neon tetras, betta fish, and goldfish typically come at a low cost, usually just behind a few dollars. On the other hand, certain breeds like arowana and other rare fish may command prices reaching five or even six figures. Oh, hold on. If you're just getting started on a budget, take note of this. As a starter, you need an aquarium for your fish. So, when setting up your aquarium, the key components include selecting the appropriately sized tank for your fish. As we said before, ensure it's got a hood to prevent escape and potential expenses, and matching equipment like lighting, filter, and the heater to the tank size. Take into consideration the specific needs of your fish species. We know goldfish don't require a heater, which provides both initial cost savings and reduced electricity bills. Don't forget to try to find the best deals to complete your fish keeping setup. Thanks for tuning into our aquatic adventure today. See, keeping fish, especially when you're just a newbie, doesn't need to be pricey. Just pick the right one and you're good to go. So if this helps you a lot, please support us by splashing a like and subscribing. And if you want to keep watching more exciting videos on our channel, click the video on the right side of your screen. Till the next wave of fish keeping. Thanks for watching.